What's up guys, it's Gabriel here from Elite Frontier and welcome back to my A to Z Battle Sparlock series. What essentially that entails, if you haven't seen the previous episode, which you should check out, is basically it's an elimination lock on Battle Spot, and the way I choose the Pokemon to bring is um, via alphabetical order. So last week we had two Pokemon losses, so they have two Pokemon have been replaced in this team, this week's team, so I'll just run through that team very briefly. So for C we've got Concalda, I will hit Challenge whilst I'm doing this as well. Um, for D we've got Demanitan, for E we've got Exploded, for F we've got Frostlass, and then the two new additions in Normal Gengar. For G, and then Mega Heracross to replace that Mega Banette for the H. So yeah, we're going to get straight into this and basically see how it goes. We've got a guy from Japan with a much better rating than ours because we've taken a few losses, but that's just from casual play more than anything. Okay, so I'm going to jot down this guy's team as well, so we don't do that often enough. So Nido Queen, um, Hyperia, on, sorry, <laughs> Gyarados, Lantern. Oh, what a mixed team this is. Heracross and uh, Ferrothorn. So that Ferrothorn immediately strikes me as dangerous, but we could bring that expired for it. So, okay, what are we going to bring? We don't want any losses. That is the key to this. And if we do, we're going to sacrifice Frostlass to get one. That's the only loss we really want in this. So we've got that. Heracross is going to have the grass type move, which is good against the Lantern and the Gyarados if it mega evolves. Um, we we'll also want to deal with that Heracross, so the x with Flamethrower would be awesome. No Ice Attack, really. Yeah, we're going to bring Concalda, x and Heracross. I think that's the choice we've got. Would like to bring that Frostlass, I really would, but I don't think I can afford to. As far as weaknesses go, that fine type weakness in the Heracross to the actual Exploud, which sucks. So maybe we should bring Demanitan instead. Hmm. Wow, this is quite difficult actually. Do we bring the Scarf to Manitan first? Followed by Exploud and then Heracross. That could be the choice actually. Yeah, we're going to go for Scarf to Manitan first, followed by the x and then the Heracross. I'm quite happy with that, I think. That Her Heracross is going to be great in general. Yeah, let's go for that. I'm nervous because we can't lose any Pokemon. This is completely different to anything else I, I usually do because usually, of course, you, you do take those calculated risks and think, I can sacrifice a Pokemon off here, you know, and, and, and do other things, but... I have to be very careful with the Pokemon I'm using. I don't want to take any casualties because they're gone for good. So I have to be seriously careful about what I use. Hopefully we see that Ferrothorn out first of all. No, we don't. I mean, that, that does suck. That really does suck. I mean, it might be best just to go for the U-turn and get the switch out on this, really. Um, Got nothing necessarily super effective against it, but that Nidoking's King's probably not the Nidoking, King, the Expired's probably gonna be best. Um, let's have a little look. Expired's probably gonna be best. I think it's got um No, maybe no. Yeah, it has got the ice beam, thank god. I was sort of worried it hadn't then. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna U-turn straight out, which should be super effective anyway, because of course this is Dark and Dragon. It's gonna get the Draco meter off, which of course he's outspeeding, which sucks, but we should survive this. I know it has poor defences, but we should survive it. We don't survive it. Wow. Already a Pokemon gone. That sucks. What? I really thought we'd actually survive that. Don't know what to say to that. That absolutely sucks. There's one Pokemon down. We're already on, <laughs> on a losing path here. We wanted a 3-0 sweep, but I guess that can't happen. We can't lose another Pokemon. I want to check the speed. I don't know. I just, I just did not think that was actually taking us out. Okay, he is switching out here, which means, well, what's coming in? It is that lantern, which I mean, that's not terrible for us. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world. We can actually do damage this, but this is well, mind you, this soaks up damage. It seems. Okay, so I mean, we can switch out here into the Heracross, which is definitely the safe choice. So we're going to do that, and we're going to switch and make it Mega Heracross and go for the Bullet Seed. Judging by that, it's specially defensive as well. Judging by well, how well it took that. Going for the skull. Do not get the burn. Just don't get the burn. 
all I can say, just don't get the burn. It doesn't get the burn, thank God. Got the burn, that could have all been over and we've lost Pokemon. It's just that simple. Is probably going to switch out here, so the best thing we can do is set up a Swords Dance. 100% the best thing we can do is set up a Swords Dance here. Yeah, definitely. Get the Mega Revolution, set up a Swords Dance, and then hit back with some super effective attacks. Wow, stays in. Expected the switch, definitely expected the switch. Maybe he's going for actually the burn hacks here with the skulls and hoping to get the burn, which would be, I guess, a good option because it would put us in a seriously bad situation if we got this burned right now. Just going for the thunderbolt. Okay, okay, that's fine. As you can see, that's doing nothing to us as well. It hasn't got any paralysis or anything like that. It's perfectly fine. And now we can just go for the actual super effective move. So we're going to go for, I mean, the bullet seed is obviously the best choice here, so we're going to go for that. It should just take this Lantern out in one hit. It does outspeed now because, of course, our speed does decrease when we turn into Mega Heracross. Which sucks because it means now anything that comes in is outspeeding us. Wow. Yeah, this puts us in a bad situation. Oh, God. Ah! Okay, so, I mean, this is fast as well. I remember the Nidoking's King's got more bulk. This is faster, so... Oh, did we not outspeeding anything left on his team, are we? No, we're not. We can't afford to actually do anything. We're just going to have to go for the Bullet Seed. We outspeed! Oh, no way! I truly did not think we would outspeed there, and this should... Looking at that, should take this out. Of course, we're... we're Yes. Oh, heart was in my mouth there. Okay, so there's two KOs for Mer Her Mega Heracross. That's awesome. Now, we cannot take this out in one hit. 100% we can't. Oh, I'm sorry. We can take this out in one hit, but we're not going to outspeed. I can't remember what this thing is called. Why can't I remember what this thing's called? I'm just going to have to do a quick search for it. Hydreigon. Of course it's Hydreigon. <clears throat> I want to check its speed. Massively outspeeding us. 100% outspeeding. We're going to have to switch out here if anything but. Puts in a predicament. I think we're going to have to sacrifice the Mega Heracross. I really don't want to do that. But I think we're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to. It sucks. But we 100% have to because our expired won't live a hit otherwise. <laughs> the expired is coming in now, which should just take this down with the Ice Beam and it should just be over, but... There's two Pokemon down again. I mean, it is a victory at the end of the day if this Ice Beam hits and we take it out, but... Yeah, yeah. Do I take that as a victory with two losses? I mean, the Duanitan, I don't think we could have done anything any in it anyway, because if we switched into a different Pokemon there, we would have been... That does go down, so that does mean... I mean, with a crit, but I don't think that actually mattered. It does mean we've got two actual Pokemon losses for this game, but... We did get the victory, and at the end of the day, that is all that matters. So we are 2-0 with this so far, so that's 2-0, and, and we're winning. They're, they aren't hand gestures that actually make any sense whatsoever. It just sucks that we lost another two Pokemon, and one of us are Mega. But it does mean it gives you guys the opportunity to actually choose the other Pokemon that are coming. So the two Pokemon, of course, that get to come in the next video is um, going to be either A or J. And the, <laughs> the I is definitely not A. The I is definitely Infernape. There's nothing else I can really choose. So, of course, that's going to be Infernape. So, it just leaves J. And I'm pretty sure for J, I mean, we've got Jalicent and Jolteon. But I'm pretty sure it has to be Jolteon. So, it might be the first time we actually have no Mega in our team. Which, you know, is going to happen from time to time. But if you've got any other ideas for Pokemon I can use, which I don't think there are any at all. With any particular builds and such, you'd have to give me as well. Hit me up in the comments and let me know. But I'm pretty sure in the next videos, we're going to have to bring Jolteon. And we're going to have to bring Infernape. 
The Infernape replaces the um, Domanitan quite well. And the Jolteon, yeah, it's got good coverage. That's going to be pretty damn good. Can't argue with that. It just sucks that we've lost another two Pokemon. <sighs> anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed this, please don't forget to smash that like button. Show your appreciation for Elite Frontier. And, well, regarding that as well, check out all the other actual members of Elite Frontier because there's some great content across the board. I bring a Battle Spot series, which I personally think is quite good. Uh, you guys obviously may, may think otherwise. But the other content on the channel is uh, is this is just awesome. There's a, a, a um, Ruby and Sapphire um, versus that's currently going on between Slyro and Titos, and it's just yeah, it's really funny to watch. We've got King Gramble doing some actual um, some Wi-Fi battles as well, which are always quality to watch. He's a great battler. We've got um, a Snakewood um, playthrough being done as well. Sorry, I couldn't think of the Nuzlocke. That's the word I'm actually thinking about. And yeah, there's just some great content. So check all the other actual members out, guys, because you know what, we're a collaboration for a reason because we all bring good content. Above all of that though, hit me up in the comments and the same for all the other videos you're watching here. Just interact with us because we're happy to actually talk to you and we're, we're nice guys. We just want to get to know you a little bit better. I've been Gabriel. Have yourselves a damn fine day. I'll be here in the same place with the same face. I'll see you next time.